Hey everyone, my name is Micah Blake, owner of Speaking Music, and today we're going to be talking about are you too old to start learning music, or what is the actual ideal age to start learning? Right up after this. What I'd like to say about this is, no, you're not too old to start learning music. I would say anyone at any age can start. Different things are going to change about how they learn and what they learn, but you can totally get the benefits of playing music at any age. Now, let's start with um, if you are, if, say, a senior or older, then your goals are going to be very different, possibly, than a teenager learning music. And the music is going to be very different, of course. So what are some of those differences and how do you approach that? So this is something that I work with a lot of people on. And what is your why? What's your big goal of learning music? What do you want to get out of it? And what style is that? If you're going to be playing piano, do you want to just play for yourself? Do you want to play um, full piano solos? Or do you want to just play around so your friends can sing with you? Those are all different things that are going to have different styles, and you're going to need to be able to tell a teacher that so you don't spend a lot of time learning things that you're never going to use and you're not going to want. That would be really frustrating. So are you too old for it? Definitely not. Are you going to get as good as someone who's played since they're five? Probably not. This is just the, a matter of life. You, you're at a certain stage where you have to say, I have this amount of time to practice every day or whatever. But if you can practice, say, say you're 70 years old and you want to get to a certain level on guitar, Say you practice for five years. Five years at learning guitar, you can be pretty darn good, okay? That's a long time, and you have five years, ten years, who knows how long you have. You have a long time to learn your instrument and to enjoy it. I'm assuming that's the reason you want to learn music, is to enjoy it. Now, as for an ideal age to start learning... I think that people should be exposed to music since they're born. <laughs> but I'm a music teacher, obviously, I think that. Um, but I don't, th I think we all learn music all the time. When to do formal lessons, though, I think it should kind of be somewhat um, sporadic. I wouldn't necessarily have a five year old taking lessons twice a week their entire life because it's probably not going to be something that's going to keep their interest the whole time. Especially younger kids, I'd say 10 and under, go through spurts of being really interested in it. And when they are, get them the information. That's kind of with everything in life for them at that age. But if they're really interested in something at that moment, get them exposed to it. Let them enjoy it. Let them go as far as they want to. I found a really good age to get focused on it well is anywhere from like 11 to 15. The kids can absorb, I feel like, everything. And you just give them a lot of information, have them do some really fun things, and they will just skyrocket. I think they learn the most at that age because when they're really young too, there's so many things that they don't learn well. They're still learning the alphabet, let alone learning that this note is an A, but also when you write an A, that's also an A. And it gets confusing. There's just more things for them to learn and more questions like about the instrument, how music works. You get a lot of that picked up already when um, you're already like 11 to 15. They've learned how sound works a little bit more than a five-year-old. 
So I think that's the ideal age, but it really just depends on what your goals are and what you want to do with music. So I think everyone should learn when they want to and the instrument they want. As for the instrument they want, as you get older, certain things will be affected physically. I found that some people want to learn guitar, but because of arthritis and other things, it's hard for them to press down the strings. So if they really want to learn guitar, I've had them switch over to an electric guitar, not because they want to do you know, hard rock and roll or anything, but because it's easier to press down. And as they were learning to become better musicians, it was so much easier for them to just use an electric guitar to start out instead of going through the pain of playing and really trying to press on like, uh, you know, heavy gauge acoustic guitar or something. Um, I've also had people play um, nylon string guitars for that same reason. And the opposite is true. As children, I found like four and five year olds who really want to play guitar can barely put their hands over the neck because their fingers are too small. Now you can find really small guitars or sometimes I've just had them start out on ukulele instead. It's a lot of the same process, a lot of the same mindset. If they can learn ukulele, in a few years they can pick up guitar and be like way more advanced than the normal person who picked up guitar at that age because they've already learned a comparable stringed instrument. Usually at that age they don't care either if it's guitar or ukulele. They don't even know the difference sometimes. Um, so that's something that is something you can think about. But that's the same thing with older people. If they are having trouble even pressing the strings on a guitar, maybe it's fine for them to switch over to piano. You really just have to go back to what's their why. Do they want to play this? Will it fulfill what they want to fulfill by learning that other instrument? But in the end, I think that playing any instrument well will help out with arthritis pain and stuff like that. If you're playing it correctly and you are enjoying it, then it's something that will actually be therapeutic for that. So I hope that helps you out with that question. Like I said, everyone can and should learn music if they want to. Um, I do a lot of tips and tricks on this channel about music for musicians or for teachers, or in this case, everything in between also. And if you're interested in that, totally subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications. But I will see you next week again.